you're different because you're the I am. You're putting your thoughts into action where this person is still dreaming of being like, I'm wishing, I'm wishing, I wish I did this, wishing I did that. All right, guys, I'm back at it with another video. Let's get into it. Another back with another body game video. So I want to make sure I do this body game video for you guys. So today's video, I really just want to talk about uh, body game, understanding like why people do not support you. Why, when you're working on your body, it's not always going to be like friends and family who are going to support your process and everything like that. Because I feel like this is very, very important because this is even, these are questions that I had personally that I was really confused about. And what I want you guys to understand is that your journey is your journey specifically. It's really nobody else's journey. And people really don't see this or the quality until you work on yourself until it helps them which is understandable is like human nature, human process, everything like that. But the reason why they may not support you, the reason why you don't understand why not is because when you work on your body, that is for people outside of your circle. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much, it's for you as well, but it's like, it's more so dealing with people who are on the exterior of your life. And when I say that, it's just that when you work on your body, it's more so you'll deal with attraction for other people, but it's not necessarily people who already know you. You know what I'm saying? People who already know you, yes, they may pour into, yes, they may do this, but they see you as being one way. So it's going to be more uncomfortable for the people who know you as being one way and you changing than for the people in your exterior seeing your progress. So that's what I want you guys to understand is, is that it becomes uncomfortable because people see you as being one way. Like if you are a bigger guy, a bigger girl, you know what I'm saying? You just maybe overweight, people see you as that is comfortable. And the moment they wake up, they understand, okay, this person may weigh more than me. You know what I'm saying? This person isn't as strong as me. But as soon as you change the dynamic, it changes the person's feeling towards you because now they see you as more of a threat or they see you more as an inspiration. You as more of a reflection of what they're not doing. So that's how it changes your inner circle and your outer circle. So for your outer circle, they're more so looking at to you as like, oh, man, that's pretty cool. Like, OK, I may not know this person as well, but I do like the process. You know what I'm saying? I do want to get into the gym. I want to be around people who are interested into the gym or who are interested in self-improvement. Because most people are going to assume that when you are doing self-improvement or you are working out, you know what I mean, that you're going to be improving your body and everything else. So that's for the exterior. You know what I mean? But just understand that everybody's not going to be inspired or not everybody's going to want to join you on your working out journey. So that's like the first thing. Like just understand that they may not want to be a part of it. And then two, you know what I'm saying, dealing with people, they may not understand what's the big deal about it, you know what I'm saying, or you know, you already have everything figured out. The next thing is that they may feel intimidated or they may feel as though <laughs> you're getting, you're going to be more cocky, like more arrogant. That's one of the main things I noticed is that when I was practicing body game, you know what I'm saying, I was still myself and everything like that, but people just felt like I had like a one up just because I was working out. They felt like I had the opportunity to disrespect them just because like they may have thought my body was a little bit better, a little bit more chiseled, a little better physique, more veins, you know what I'm saying, just looks more aesthetic. So they automatically assume that I would treat them how they would treat other people. So, you know, some people, if they lose weight or oh, they switch or if they lose weight or they get that perfect body on everybody, you know what I'm saying, they may divorce, they may, um, dump that person that they're dating and it's just like some people fear that subconsciously because they think that because they will act that way you will act that way so it's more like an intimidation thing that's something that you have to be cautious of if you are in relationships or you are with people like they just may feel as though you may get big-headed you know what i'm saying you might just change up switch up because they, they will do the same thing you know what i'm saying another thing that when you're practicing body game people may not support you is because they may have always wanted to do what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? That comes more into like influence. Sometimes when you are working on yourself, you are losing weight and you are working out. Uh, one thing I noticed is that a lot of people, it's almost like a New Year's resolution. A lot of people want to get into it, but they don't really know how. And they may be a little scared. So the fact that you're doing it, it kind of, you know what I'm saying? It kind of like, well, dang, I wanted to do that. And I'm just a little scared, you know what I'm saying? I just don't feel as comfortable or confident to do it.
But now that I see you doing it all the time, yes, it's inspiring me, but at the same time, it's just showing you how long I waited to get started. So it's just like, it's more of a mental game and it's more of a like, I wish, I wish, I wish instead of I am. So you're different because you're the I am. You're putting your thoughts into action where this person is still dreaming of being like, I'm wishing, I'm wishing, I wish I did this, wishing I did that. So to kind of counteract that, like just understand that this person's just wishing they're doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? They just want to have that mindset. But just kind of to like lower it, you know what I'm saying, to get them to support you at some point, just understand that like, hey, just introduce them to new techniques, introduce them to a new mentality, a new mindset, and now I kind of counteract that. But that's a common thing. People want to be in the position that you're in and they want the results, but sometimes they may be scared to ask you how. You know what I'm saying? It just, it is uncomfortable. So um, another thing uh, that I want to piggyback off of that is they may be scared of the gym. You know what I'm saying? Uh, to be honest with you guys, like if you guys are in the gym, you understand like when you aren't the physique that you want to be, like let's just say if you are cut up, you know what I'm saying? If you are in the gym, you are working yourself. Imagine if you just gained a hundred pounds out of nowhere. Like, just imagine that. Imagine that. Like, this is why some people want support. So, just imagine you saying you did all this work and everything like that, and you just gained a hundred pounds one day. And just imagine how they would feel of you going. You know what I'm saying? Imagine you going to the gym and you're this different body type, and you feel like you don't fit in. With the gym, if you notice, the gym's lifestyle is very how how do I say this is very you know what I'm saying you you either you get it or you don't you if you know you know you know what I'm saying it's kind of like that so it's like a lot of people aren't really that approachable in the gym or you know what I'm saying sometimes you may be intimidated because the person may have a super nice physique you know what I'm saying somebody you may think you like top gun top dog and then somebody may walk in with like model level physique and it just makes you feel like not me, but it may make another person feel as though like they're a competition or they don't measure up, they don't add, add up. So it's just like, just understand that some people are really, really afraid of the gym. And I had to learn that too, because I was like, I was just kind of thinking like, oh yeah, you're not supporting me. Like, come on with the gym. Come. But a lot of people are really, really insecure or scared of their bodies. And I want you guys to understand that, like getting into the gym, first off, you got to want to go. <laughs> so that's one you got to want to go to the gym and then also to a lot of people are very very scared of the gym and to be honest with you as a beginner all of us went through that like never think that like we just was just like just into the gym everything like that we all had things that we wanted to work on we all had things that we just kind of wanted to like not really show off just yet until we got to a certain level and uh just understand that some people are like that all over or they have certain parts they're just not ready to like show off and it happens with clothes too some people won't wear certain clothes some people won't wear tank tops some people won't wear you know women won't wear certain dresses and everything like that and just just understand that understand from their perspective is like they may not be ready yet because it's, it's uh, working out like muscle physique thing is uh it's really like a mental game first you know what i'm saying and this is this is one of the hardest battles to fight, you know what I'm saying, when you don't feel as though you're ready to start to like a new thing or new gym or you create new habits. It first starts, so you got to want it up here first before your body starts to follow, you know what I mean? So I want you guys to understand that, you know what I'm saying? Just don't take everything personal, but understand that like different people are battling different things. And just because you're ready doesn't mean that the next person is ready. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to tell you guys that because I feel as though like when we are working out, we are getting our bodies right. We want everybody to hurry up and be on our same pace, but it does take time and people do have to be more comfortable when getting into the gym and, you know, understanding like, how to do it and how to like do the workouts correctly, which machines to use, what weights. It's a lot. And I just thought about this video because I seen like I was in the gym and a guy was doing a bench press. And he overloaded the, the, the bar and it literally like teeter totter. You know what I'm saying? It was very, very dangerous. I just assumed he knew what he was doing because he was a little bit older. But a lot of people do not know how to lift weights properly. And that's why I feel like I come into play because I can definitely help you guys out. But that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. Just wanted to give you guys these tips or just give you this mindset shift to uh, help you understand different 
uh, paradigms in the world and understand that you may think one way and another person may think another way. So that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. <laughs>